Hey, look who it is! Books and Lala, in, in case you didn't know, but you probably know. She's doing the bookshelf challenge. Hello, it is Monday. Uh, what's happened today? I had my driving lesson today. Hey Google, pause. There we go. So I had my driving lesson today. Uh, it went alright, I guess. It's, I, I don't know. I didn't feel as confident as I have for other ones, but the driving guys seemed to be pretty happy with it. Did some turning and some driving and stuff. Uh, what else have I been doing? I've been continuing on with my uh, little sort of mini spring clean. Hence, uh, that is a Christmas tree there. I found my Christmas tree, so I'm going to probably try and put it up on top of the microwave up there. Because I have no space. Hence me doing all of this uh, spring cleaning. But we'll see. I might set that up in a bit or... Uh, or not as the case may be. It's less high priority than some of the other tidying tasks I have. Still reading Osric Fingerbone and The Spring of Jacks by Michael Israel Jarvis. I'm about 20, 30 pages from the end now. We are getting to now all the kind of the climactic scenes, which is very exciting. And also I'm trying to make some like peanut butter stuffed ball things. Some rice, I made some puffed rice. That was what it was called. So yeah, that's about it really. I'm gonna, this evening, I don't have much on. I do have an open mic tomorrow, I think, so I'll probably go to that. Uh, so this evening I will uh, finish my book, start a new one, be productive, maybe sell some stuff on eBay. Yeah! Oh, maybe film, we'll see. Oh, and uh, welcome to weekly writing vlog, num uh, reading vlog number whatever it is. God, I'm I'm terrible at this booktube thing. I don't even know why any, anyone even watches me. I don't know. Let me know in the comments why you're watching. Apple had a good way to think about Biggie, I can't see. that people on her team had, so she could be thoughtful about what roles uh. to put people in. What you got there, Biggie? <laughs> oh, is that good? Is that a good ball? Is it? Yeah. Probably helps that I sprayed it with a shitload of catnip, doesn't it? Oh, belly flop. You got you got ball patch in your belly, and you got some grey in your tail as well. But you are still beautiful. You are mag magnificent. I mean, look at that winter coat. Based on her, based on her books, Rebecca. Currently watching Ginny Nelson talk about Rebecca by Daphne Du Maurier. Definitely recommend you check out her channel at the time of filming this. She's got 16 subscribers, so she could use a bit of love. In other news, uh, oh, I've look, the, tr the tree is on the microwave. <laughs> oh, it's gonna melt. Uh, no, I don't really use my microwave. I've actually had to use a book to prop it up as well because I'm missing one of the legs of it, but it's fine. Also, at least up there, the cat's not gonna get it. I do also have like this little mini tree down there, so that's good. Uh, I finished reading Osric Fingerbone and the Spring of Jacks by Michael Israel Jarvis. I would give this, I'm going to give it a, probably a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, I, I love uh, Jarvis's work, this is actually the fourth of his books and the fourth one that I've read. Uh, it's not my favourite, my favourite is probably still Gravedigger which is his first. I also really enjoyed uh, Land Rising, however this is, this would be good for someone like uh, Sophisticated Books because I know she was talking to me uh, asking whether I had any books uh, recommendations set in uh, Victorian London. This is in Victorian London but it's in like an alternative version of Victorian London, so some of the place names are different. You know, there's alchemy going on, all kinds of stuff. Um, I mean, it's the second one of uh, a series, so uh, check out Osric Fingerbone and the Boy Murderer for the first one, and uh, decide from there if you wanna go. And so now I'm reading Drinking by John Cheever, which is another one of the vintage mini moderns. I actually made a start on this when I was going out drinking, which is why the book is a little bit bad, because it was in my pocket. But uh, yeah, I started this last week when I went to my work party. I, I like, uh, so I opened it up, called Drinking. The first story is called The Sorrows of Gin. And then we have a quote somewhere around here. So it says, at last he seemed happy. Amy wondered if he was drunk. So yeah, this is just all drinking stories basically. Yeah, and what's weird actually is that I then picked up the next book and I, after this one, it's called Swimming and I can't remember who it's by. And they mentioned John Cheever in it, and I'm like, whoa, how weird. Because uh, like I, re I start picking up a new book every day, you see, and then uh, see how far I get in, see whether I'm going to continue with it. But yeah, so uh, that's that, and now I might go to the shop and get some beer. Uh, I mean, I'm going to continue being productive, but I might have some beer while I do that. I might even play guitar for an hour and have some beer. 
What are you doing down there? Hey, Biggie. So I had a really bad night's sleep. Um, I went to bed at about two. Finally fell asleep about quarter to seven in the morning. Landlord came around at 10, woke me up. Went back to sleep, woke up at 6 p.m. Uh, feel terrible. I think I'm coming down with something. But I'm going to go to an open mic night. I actually have to leave in 10 minutes. So I've got to... Oh. I'm going to play some uh, quiet, sad songs. Oh, and I finished, I finished Osric Fingerbone. Uh, I think I mentioned that. 3 out of 5. 3.5 out of 5, sorry. Pretty good. And I'm, I'm just coming to the end of Drinking by John Cheever. And then I'm probably going to read more horrible histories. And a dream of hope soon will It's years. Charlie, Charlie Heathcote. Um, all right, I'm back from getting my tattoo. Uh, bled a little bit, so I'm gonna go and try and, uh, I'm gonna take this off, give it a very slight wipe and hopefully show you, and uh, then recling film it for a bit, I guess. But let, let me go do that and I'll try and show you what it looks like. All right, it's still bleeding a fair amount, but I have at least washed some of the blood off. So I will show it to you now, and then I'm going to cling film it back up again and let it heal some more, so. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? A colourful stack of books. Hurrah! Alright, um, okay, I should actually do an, uh, an update really, shouldn't I? So, um, I finished reading Drinking by uh, John Cheever. Um, yeah, it was good actually. Let me, I want to read you his bio because this gives you a bit more context on that story about swimming as well, so. John Cheever was born in 1912. The son of a shoe salesman, Cheever enjoyed a somewhat idyllic childhood in the suburbs of Massachusetts before his father lost his fortune and fell to drinking. Frequently referred to as the Chekhov of these suburbs, Cheever published seven collections of stories and five novels throughout his lifetime and was awarded the National Medal for Literature and the Pulitzer Prize, among others. Cheever's own struggle with alcoholism is reflected in much of his writing. The Swimmer, which went on to become a major Hollywood movie featuring Burt Lancaster, portrays the grinding toll of suburbanite so Socialising, while Goodbye My Brother and Oh Youth and Beauty depict the blind destruction that mindless drinking inflicts on families. Cheever finally quit drinking in 1975. He died seven years later. So there we go. But I did enjoy it. I would say this is probably... It's a 3.75 or a 4 out of 5. Uh, I did enjoy it though and uh, would recommend this is probably the best of the vintage mini moderns that I've read so far. Apart from Haruki Murakami's one, which uh, I read fair old while ago. So I finished reading that and now I am reading Savage Stone Age by Terry Deary. It's another horrible histories. I think I only have this and one more left to read now so I'm just trying to get through those. Uh, so there is that and that's about it really. Other than that I'm just cracking on with some work, doing a bit of tidying. Uh, in terms of my personal writing I've got some reviews to write for my blog, a bit of poetry and some flash fiction to do. Got to catch up in my journal. And then I can work on my memoirs and for clients I've been writing some case studies today and I'm basically ghostwriting two different books at the same time one that I can't talk about and one that is uh, the sequel to the future of healthcare by Emmanuel Fombu which uh, yeah should be good so yes all right I will love you and leave you goodbye Place. all right I'm watching Cody it, as I said. hello oh, Cody I Actually, this is Cody's re uh, read and vlog. So, I've got a couple of books to update you on. I'm also just making, I'm um, just frying a few onions, a bit of garlic, and some other stuff like that. Uh, it's going to go in some pasta, because uh, I'm hungry. I've done my laundry today, I did the hoovering. I'm pretty much done now in terms of cleaning up my flat. I also have something super cool to show you. What happened with my microphone is that I leant on it and broke the stand a little bit by accident. So I had to get a new stand, and instead of just getting a regular old stand, 
I got this thing. There we go. So now it's on this like arm that comes out of the, the thing. And then we've got the pop shield there. And then I guess the camera will go kind of here and you won't see it, but it'll hopefully give better audio. So that's very exciting and it's just pretty cool. So, <laughs> um, yeah. In, in terms of books, I finished reading uh, Savage Stone Age by Terry Deary. So I think this is my penultimate one now. I think I've got one more left to read in this series now. I did enjoy it. The Stone Age isn't necessarily my favourite historical period. I did like there was a lot of stuff about archaeology in it, which I would have liked if I'd read this as a kid, because I used to want to be an archaeologist at some point. But... Um, yeah, it was interesting in, uh, enough. There was some nice information on, you know, how human beings evolved and going through Homo erectus, through Homo, homo sapiens and that kind of stuff. So yeah, three out, uh, three point five out of five for me. It wasn't the best horrible histories book, but it was it was out. And then the other thing is, I finished reading my bedtime book, which is Work Rules by Laszlo Bock. Insights from inside Google that will transform how you live and lead. And this was really interesting. There was some kind of great case studies in there. For example, one of them was, it's all about, a lot of it is about thinking outside the box, you know. So one of them was about during the war. And uh, when aeroplanes were coming back, they were coming back heavily damaged in the tails and on the wings. And so the engineers of the planes decided to focus their time on strengthening the cockpits, which might seem counterintuitive, but the idea is, is that the ones that were damaged through the cockpits were going down and weren't coming back at all. So I thought that was quite interesting. Lots of stuff about how to keep people happy, how to keep your employees happy. Google does like this uh, survey that goes around and uh, you know, I think like, you know, tens of thousands of employees fill it out and there are a bunch of data points on that. My only real criticism was that it was a bit too long and Box writing style was a I don't know, I, he, you can tell he's not a writer, he's a, you know, he's a people operations guy and fair play to him, he's very good at that. But uh, all in all, yeah, I enjoyed it, I'll probably give it a, another 3.5 out of 5 I think. And I actually read that one because I was being paid to review it for a client. So yeah, that is the update on those. I'm now reading uh, Swimming by Roger Deakin. So this is the one in my, uh, in my last vlog I think it was, I mentioned uh, he referenced one of the stories that was in Drinking by John Cheever, which was also in this range, the uh, vintage mini moderns. So I'm just working my way through the box set. Very nice. Hopefully gonna do some filming in a bit. We will see. Um, I mean, I've almost finished doing, like I say, almost finished doing all my housework. And, uh, oh, and my mom sent me, she got me some new knives. So uh, I asked for knives for Christmas because I like to kill people. No, just because I don't have decent knives. And I like to cook, so yeah. Frying some that's red and green peppers, chilies, onions, bit of garlic, and then in here we've got some uh, pasta going. I'm actually gonna, gonna turn that down a, a bit more. There we go. Hello, it's Friday, and uh, yeah, I've been to town. Actually, I had a driving lesson earlier, which seemed to go all right. Been to town, posted some stuff that I needed to send. I also went to uh, the Metro Bank, and they have one of the coin counting machines, so I took all my loose change to that. And uh, yeah, got about £75 in the end because I also had some euros to change back. So I've done all that. It's now 20 to 2 in the afternoon. I do have to get some work done. But equally, I'm going to do some filming at last. Well, actually, I did some filming the other day. So now I've, I've just got to film my October, my September and October wrap ups. And then I guess prep for my November one. But um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. Not much else to update you on. No nothing's really happening at the moment. So. Um, it's Friday and I would like to go out, but I don't think anyone is out, so I guess I'm just gonna have a few beers and play guitar. But then I think I'm out tomorrow night and Sunday, so. And then I think there's a gig on Monday that I'm going to. Wait, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I already started eating. I forgot to get some footage, but then I remembered that sometimes people like to look at my food. So this is uh, tofu curry with like brown wholemeal rice. And I'm watching The Haunting of Hill House. Yeah. There is tinsel on my TV now. I'll give you an update in a minute once I've had some food. Hello, it is uh, Saturday. I had a bit of a lie in today, oops. But um, I have just finished reading Villainous Victorians by Terry Deary, which is again, another horrible histories book. Probably, 
probably a four out of five for me because there was some interesting stuff about some of the authors of the time, some bits about Dickens, uh, you know, reference to George Eliot, that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, did enjoy that, and that is now the Horrible Histories box set completed for me. So I'm now going to read Babies by Anne Enright. I've actually started reading this, and considering I'm not really a babies person, I have actually enjoyed it so far. I think it's. Um, I don't know, her writing style is just quite gripping and uh, it's interesting for me to kind of read about what it's like to be a mother, basically, you know, I think uh, I think it's, it's pretty, pretty healthy to read that kind of stuff, especially when you hate babies. So yeah, I'm going to read that and then after that I'm probably going to read some Graham Greene, we'll see. It is uh, 5 to 5 in the afternoon stroke evening. I'm just getting a bit of productivity and stuff done, so I made some food, been watching The Haunting of Hill House. Uh, and I'm probably going to go to the art centre later, just round the corner. They have, uh, I don't really know what it is, it's like live music, but also some art exhibition or something. So, uh, but it's five pounds to get in, so I'm like, uh, whoa, that totally changed the white balance, now my face is red. Anyway, I'm off to do that, so uh, yeah, I'll update you in a bit. Alright, someone's very comfy, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Oh, we're, we're still sitting here watching Haunting of Hill House, aren't we, Biggie? It's quite good, isn't it? Two of us yeah. Decided All right, then. To die. Who's going to sleep now? Hey Dashwood. Oh my goodness. Yes, we are one now. Hello, I did an oopsie because um, I, well, we went to the open mic yesterday. I didn't do any filming and then I got quite drunk and then I went to bed. So it's now Monday. So um, I guess I'm going to wrap up this week, this weekly reading vlog here and then I'll talk about the books in the next one. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.